12 o'clock high is based on a book by the same name. The story is about a group of men and their commanding officers in, in the air force in 1943. It's based on a bombing group stationed in England, which had accumulated the highest loss rate and the worst bombing effectiveness record at that time. As you can imagine, morale was a disaster. The general in charge of Bomber Command concluded that the problem was the group commander whose leadership style had allowed discipline to erode and also encouraged the pilots to feel sorry for themselves. So the general replaces the group commander with someone who brings order and discipline to the group. The men don't like the change. Instead of being willing to submit to their new commander, they put in for transfers to other duty stations. But the new commander sticks to his plan. And the group recovers its focus, its combat effectiveness improves, and the pilots change their minds about transferring. In the end, their new commander leads the group on a big mission over Germany, inflicting severe damage on the target, a big ball bearing plant. But a second strike is necessary to finish it off. As their commander attempts to board his aircraft and lead the second strike, he suffers a mental breakdown from the strain. However, He's done his job well enough, and his crews are now strong enough to fly the mission successfully without him. With the second strike, they destroy their target. So you might wonder, what does this very interesting war story, though it is, have to do with the church? Well, just as this group of bombers needed the right kind of leader to be successful in their mission, Christians need leaders, the right kind of leaders, to help them be successful in their mission living lives that glorify God and spreading the gospel. 